Well, looks like I've got a few things going on here. I'm in a condo, a nice little two bedroom condo. It's a vacation condo rental in Maui. And they asked me to come over here and take a look. And I've been doing all kinds of stuff over here. I've got a whole, I've got a whole little list here going. And I still have a few more things, but I wanted to show you just briefly a few different things. Yeah, you want to come out to Maui? Let me know and I might get you hooked up. Okay. <laughs> okay, I looked at this door here too. And see, this door closes right up against some sliding glass closet doors. Isn't that nice? Okay, well, the one thing about that, these these wheels were off of this track and they and there's a definite place where they where they are supposed to line up. See that that long groove in the middle. And lots of times the doors either uh, the wheels go here or they catch on that or they catch on the back one. Then they don't close properly. Well, very simple. I just take that and I lift that up. See that's off the track right now. And then I just put it down where the wheel is supposed to go. There's a there's a little plastic wheel down there. Okay, and then constantly that is happening. That's coming off. So I checked that, fixed that. The other closet door was the same thing. And when this closet door closes up right up against the sheetrock wall, right here, see there's no trim on here. They decided not to put any uh, door jam there or casing around this. It looks kind of slick. And what they do here is see right up there, here's a rubber uh, goodie here. And then you also have one down at the bottom. Okay, so the theory is when the door closes, that hits the sheetrock and it doesn't go any for it far further. Now this door is not adjusted properly, is it? See, see up here, you see where the, uh, where the rubber piece is right there? It closes up against the wall, okay? Now if somebody wanted to, they could adjust the, the wheels on this closet door and the way to do that is on the back side, you see there's a, there's a screw right there. You can screw that tight or loosen it up and that'll raise and lower the door. Okay, so when you look at this, what you could do is you know it's touching at the top. And see the big gap here at the bottom? You would raise this wheel up, okay? That would tilt the door up. And if you can't raise this wheel up all the way, because there's only so much adjustment that you can get, then you would lower this wheel down over here with, and making sure it doesn't rub on your rail. You know, you'd have to open and close the door all the way and adjust it and figure, figure all that out. So you can adjust it that way. Okay, now this bedroom door closes right up against the glass and that's why they 